Scenes from Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. The clinic hosted this year's Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month kickoff event. Much more on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, April is also the month of the military child. News from the Ed Center and our regular rundown of transition assistance news and seminars. These stories and more, but first, as we've done throughout much of the pandemic, we lead the show with highlights from this week's Installation Town Hall. Francisco Jamison, the Director of Child and Youth Services, was on hand with some big announcements from CYS. Youth sports, here we go. We are bringing youth sports back, starting May 17th in skill building clinic format. So that's cheerleading, flag football, and soccer. Uh, registration will begin on Monday, and for those of you that are interested, please call 301-677-7968. We also are still looking for uh, youth volunteer coaches, and you can call that same number if you're interested. I am super pleased to announce <laughs> that we are reopening both Child Development Center number two and Family Child Care on Monday, April 26th. Now, I'm reading from a script because my staff wants to make sure I get it correct. <laughs> but Monday, April 26th, Child Development Center 2 and Family Child Care will reopen. Jameson added that if your child isn't registered for child care, go to militarychildcare.com. Regular Town Hall participant Colonel Tracy Michael, Fort Meade Medic and Kimbrough Commander gave his usual rundown on the status of COVID-19 and vaccinations, but he also closed with a reminder about taking care of other health needs. There have been many folks out there who have perhaps been delaying care. Yeah. Um, over the past year, uh, there are folks that need to get in for screenings, uh, colonoscopies, um, you know, uh, breast exams, uh, cancer screenings, etc. Those are extremely important prevention uh, visits that um, you need to maintain, and we would not want you uh, to be uh, having a condition or needing the treatment uh, and, and thinking that you need to delay it because of your COVID vaccination status. There's much more from CYS, Kimbrough, and the Garrison. You can watch the town hall in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, April is Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month. Here's Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland. I'm Colonel Chris Nyland, and this is our Major Mike Benkendorf, your Garrison Command Team. Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month is recognized in April by both civilian and military communities. The Department of Defense observes Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month by focusing on creating a culture to eliminate sexual assault and requiring a personal commitment from all service members and DOD civilians. This year's theme is protecting our people protects our mission. We all have a role in preventing sexual assault. That's why this training is so important. Only together can we create the culture that will eliminate this scourge from our ranks. As we all try to keep safe during this COVID-19 pandemic, Fort Meade has planned a host of virtual activities for our community. Please join us in this fight for zero tolerance of sexual assault by joining our mission. Thank you for your support. Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center kicked off this year's Prevention Month observance. Fort Meade Medic and Kimbrough Commander Colonel Tracy Michael opened the kickoff event. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to really uh, highlight the importance of what we can do, each and every one of us can do, uh, to prevent uh, with the goal of eliminating sexual assault, sexual harassment uh, within our formation, within our ranks. This is just one step uh, in the right direction to make sure that we keep a focus on this. If we allow ourselves uh, to become complacent in this area, then you will see these kinds of corrosive creep into our formation. Meanwhile, time now for our regular look at the latest news from the Transition Assistance Program. Coming up April 20th, the Maryland Department of Veterans Affairs is holding a virtual benefits expo. Learn more about local, state, and federal benefits. Pre-registration is at eventbrite.com. The Maryland Department of Labor and MWR are offering a virtual job fair May 12th from 9 to 3. It's open to all job seekers. For more information, go to me.armymwr.com. And finally, Recruit Military has an upcoming job fair. For more information on these events and much more, contact the Transition Assistance Program at 301-677-6759. And in a related item, the Fort Meade Education Center announced this week the reopening of its testing center. There are COVID safety requirements. A mask must be worn at all times in the facility. You can schedule an appointment today. Call 301-677-6421. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.